Hello, I hope everybody is fine today. My name is Anthony. Let's get into the topic I want to talk about today, which is Steve, Laura, Harvey, and Boosie. Now, I know it sounds kind of weird having all three of those connected, but bear with me for a second. Now, I'm kind of curious, what has Lori Harvey done, besides being Steve Harvey's star, to be famous in the news? So far, she has came off as a spoiled, entitled girl who can, excuse me, a spoiled, entitled woman that cannot make up her mind about what kind of man she wants or what she wants from a man. And in part, a large part of that is because of Steve Harvey. Now, look at this video clip right here, and let's go ahead and talk about that for a second. I'm completely and totally wrapped around my daughter's fingers. I give them everything they ask me for. I've never turned them down. I've bought them everything they've ever wanted. I've traveled, I've bought horses, cars, houses. I have ruined my daughters. <laughs> All four of them girls is spoiled. Now, as you see on that video clip, you see Steve Harvey was giving advice to another man about uh, disciplining his daughters and Steve didn't have nothing for him, right? Now, why is that? Because he said himself that he has spoiled his daughters. He gives them everything he wants. Even when Wayne recently came and asked for money, gave her a lecture, but still gave her the money anyway. So it's kind of curious. Is Steve Harvey, uh, he admitted himself. So if you come for one of Steve Harvey's daughters, if you're not in the spoiler woman business, keep moving. As you can see in a video clip I did show, Steve Harvey admitted himself that he spoiled his daughters. He ruined them. So if you're not in the business of uh, spoiling one of Steve Harvey's daughters, you might as well keep it moving because that's what he did to them. He gave them a very, a very unrealistic expectation of what it's like to be in a relationship because most women compare their first loves to their father. So they have a man. They don't see that man sitting there trying to buy them cars, houses, taking them on trips, pretty much giving them what they want. They, they can't see the love. They never seen the experience of them. I'm trying to think of the best way to say this. They haven't. They haven't been raised to grow with a partner, right? They have been raised to find a man that's already established, have that man take care of you, and if he's not able to do that, he's not worth your time. Now he didn't say that last part I just said, but it's strongly implied just by uh, Lori, Lori Harvey how she's acting and how she doesn't even stay in a relationship for a year. Now, here's the thing about Lori Harvey. What's going to happen when she ends up hitting 30, 35, 40, and she still has those unrealistic expectations? See, Harvey is not going to be alive forever. And even if he did leave her, I don't know, let's say $50 million, I know he could leave probably that much for each one of his, uh, I don't know how many kids now. I know he has four daughters at least. So $50 million, $200, all together, $200 million all together, he could easily do that just for the girls, the boys. He seems to be more harder on them, so who knows what he would do for the boys. But uh, back to Lori Harvey, she is, for her, the value of the man needs to already be there. And that's not a bad thing. Everybody should have standards, right? Everybody should have this, uh, this notion of what you want and not to settle for. I applaud everybody for doing that. However, when you're coming to a man and he had to work hard for everything he had, he's only going to spoil you for so long if you think about it. So guys like Michael B. Jordan, Future, Puff Daddy, uh, all well-established wealthy men. But Michael B. Jordan, look at him. He's still grinding. He's still making movies. He's still working out. He doesn't have the time to spoil her like she probably wants because he's too busy working. When it comes to Puff Daddy, people could talk all day about Puff Daddy and his grinding past, but at the exact same time, he has worked hard for every single dollar he had. And he doesn't seem like he's going to stop it anytime soon. So again, another man that's successful, that's working hard, he doesn't have time to sit there and give you every single need and want that you have. Yeah, he's going to spoil you and take care of you, but at the exact same time, he wants you to go away so he can keep making his money. And then Future. Future got too many kids to try to spoil anybody. I think the, when they were together, he took her on a cruise and uh, jet skiing and that, that was it. And Gloria Harvey saw quick that wasn't going to go anywhere as far as the lifestyle she wanted to live. So, of course, she went to a billionaire and I asked that's potential to be a billionaire really quickly. Now, how this goes into Boosie. Now, here's another clip that Boosie said on Vlad TV. I always tell my daughters, 76, at least 80 percent men are attracted to you because of your father. Hmm. And that's a fact with any famous person. 80 percent of anybody, if you attracted to their daughter, you attracted to their daughter. 
or even first heard about their daughter because they famous daddy. So that was your first attraction. Now you gotta think about that. That's why women like Laura Harvey would never date a regular man. Because why? A lot of men would try to go after them to get to their father. Now Lori Harvey is a very attractive woman. But outside of her being attractive, I don't see anything else she offers or what she can help you grow and do. I have not seen her help anybody in a sense. Well, I will say maybe Michael B. Jordan when they were saying he didn't like black women. So he got Lori, whatever, that was more of an image thing. But as far as growing a relationship or that quote unquote people keep saying, you know, growing an empire, that's not Lori Harvey, at least not right now. Maybe when Steve Ashley does cut her off, if she has to be more independent, that's cool. But any man that gets to Lori Harvey that's going to be a guy that makes less than seven figures is most likely trying to get to Steve Harvey because the man is, I don't know, how much is his net worth? Let me look at that right quick. Okay, well, um, Steve Harvey net worth, <laughs> Steve Harvey's net worth is $200 million, which kind of goes back to, I need to go back and change what I said earlier about leaving each one of his girls $50 million. Uh, probably less than that, maybe five each. Nevertheless, though, um, but Boosie was right, and even though you may not be a Steve Harvey, a Boosie, or a Puff Daddy, or any of these uh, famous celebrities that have a lot of money, there are kids being taught. There are kids being taught to uh, set guys up to get them pregnant to get into the family. As much controversy around Boosie, he does have a lot of wisdom. And I'm glad he tells his daughter, hey, there are men out here that just want you for your daddy, so watch out for who you're trying to be with. And if it's just not your daddy for what they perceive of what you have. Because let's 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 be honest here. If you're dating a girl, let's say, okay, so let's say that you're um, a pretty comfortable family, right? A real, real scenario here. Let's say both you and your wife bring in uh, 150000 each, 300000 overall. You live in a very comfortable lifestyle, you're able to provide your kids whatever they need or want. You can buy them the cell phone, the cars, the nice clothes, everything else, depending how you want to choose to raise your kid. Now, if your kid chooses to go ahead and date somebody out their personality and um, out their personality and I guess how they look, that's fine. But what's the background of that particular person that you're trying to date? So if my son or daughter was dating somebody, I would say, well, hey, who's their family? What side of town do they live on? What do they do for a living? These are the kind of questions you ask because depending on what side of town they do, I live in, what they do or may not do for a living, those are the kind of values that can be teaching their kids that, hey, I want to be just like my parents or I want to do better. Or they could be the, uh, the people that are telling you, telling their kids that, hey, go find somebody that comes from a good family. So if something does happen to you, make sure you're taken care of. Hey, you get pregnant by this kid, hey, they're gonna take care of you and this kid because that family uh, lives in a two-story house that has five bedrooms, so you're gonna be taken care of for life. You and your kid. So if you're gonna sit here and have sex with his son or daughter, make sure no protection is being used. And that's the ugly truth that nobody really talks about. That there are kids that are being programmed at a very young age to target uh, families that are more well off. Anyways, uh, that's all I had to say. Um, Lucy and Steve Harvey, uh, two different ends of the spectrum for damn sure. But one pretty much ruined their daughter for anybody else. And the other is teaching their daughter, hey, make sure that you are not getting somebody that's trying to get after your daddy. So he's trying to save his daughter, make sure that whatever love she finds is the correct kind of love. The love that's actually for her and not for her family. Anyways, tell me what you think.